Hi, my name is David Smith. I work for the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity. I've been working on solid waste and recycling issues for the last 25 years. I'm a graduate of the Illinois State University with a degree in public administration. When I first started with government of the state of Illinois, I was tasked with reviewing and, and analyzing uh, recycling legislation. This was at a time when you know, there was a hundred bills a year on that topic. So I have a lot of experience dealing with um, solid waste legislation in Illinois. And my goal today is to kind of give you an introduction to those laws, uh, help you understand how to interpret those laws and, and where to find them, and uh, just kind of go over the major points of those, those laws. First of all, a uh, little uh, political science 101. We don't need to go through all of this, but I want to make a distinction between a bill versus a law. Um, I'll, I'll note later on that uh, what it takes for a bill to become a law, but um, bills are not laws until they are uh, finally acted upon by the governor. There's a lot of uh, legal speak. Uh, it's hard to understand if you don't um, can't break can't can't break down the code here for identifying things, uh, and I'm sure to many of you it seems like a foreign language. But I'm going to help you kind of decode some of this. You don't have to be a lawyer. Um, you can kind of follow along here. And uh, on the left, you'll see that uh, I'm, I've referenced HB 0215 and SB009. Well, obviously, HB uh, is a bill that starts in the House. It's assigned a number sequentially. Um, Senate bill, uh, kind of the same thing, uh, just in the Senate. And here's what I was talking about earlier. A bill does not become a law until it is approved in verbatim form by both the House and Senate and then is signed by the governor, or the governor takes no action within 60 days or it is vetoed and overridden with a three-fifths majority vote by both houses of the General Assembly. When a bill becomes a law, it is assigned a different number. It becomes a PA, a public act. And this is the example. Um, I'm followed uh, Senate Bill 9 here. The, uh, this year turned into uh, Public Act 9815. Again, the PA is a public act. The 98 represents the number of General, General Assembly that passed the law. So this is the 98th General Assembly that's convened in Illinois. Each General Assembly is two years long. And again, this is uh, 2013 and 2014 is the 98th General Assembly. And of course, the 15 is just a sequential number of a law from that particular General Assembly. Um, let's see here next. A lot of the information that you uh, that I'm going to present to you today uh, is found on a website. The, it's the Illinois Compiled Statutes that I'm going to talk about, but the website's www.ilga.gov, uh, and that's a great website for uh, finding out what bills are being considered what the laws are actually saying and um, who are the members of the General Assembly. Now, once a public act is um, signed by the governor, it's added to an existing law or creates a new law. And those um, laws are the Illinois Compiled Statutes. And again, they're given special numbers. Um, the Illinois compiled statutes are broken into general categories and chapters and further into numbers and names. Most of the environmental uh, laws that we deal with are in the 400 series that deal with health and safety. And particularly chapter 415, which are environmental safety. And I've listed some of the major laws that we deal with. Um, 
415A LCS 5 is the Environmental Protection Act, 10 is the Local Solid Waste Disposal Act, 15 is the Solid Waste Planning and Recycling Act, and 20 is the Illinois Solid Waste Management Act. So again, most of the laws that I deal with on a daily basis are in the 415 um, numbers. A little bit about a law. Um, most laws will have definitions at the beginning, and that is the specific language in the law that spells out what specific terms mean. For, I'm giving a couple of examples here. Municipal waste means garbage, general household, institutional, and commercial waste, industrial lunchroom or office waste, landscape waste, and construction and demolition debris. Another example of recycling center means a facility that accepts only segregated non-hazardous materials. Um, it's important to look at the specific um, definition with used within a law and although it would seem that it should be, sometimes different laws have different definitions for the same terms so it's important uh, to kind of understand which definition you're under you're, you're dealing with within a specific law. Um, the definition for recycling is a little bit different in two different legislations in Illinois and that causes confusion at times. Um, so that's a it's a big issue and it's an important uh, kind of nuance here. Going further into a piece of legislation of an actual law there's generally what I call whereas clauses and this is the part of the law that is used to explain why the legislation is considered important. And here's a couple of examples. Um, parts of the state have an inadequate and rapidly diminishing disposal capacity for so municipal solid waste. Another one is counties should have the primary responsibility to plan for the management of municipal waste within their boundaries. And after those whereas clauses, there's generally the therefore clauses, what I call the therefore clauses. This is the language that spells out what the law requires, or what the actual law says. Here's a couple of examples. Each county solid waste management plan adopted under section 4 of that particular bill shall include a recycling program. Each county shall begin implementation of its waste management plan including the recycling program within one year of adoption of the plan. Um, the legislation that includes words like shall, must, those are called mandates and um, the legislative mandates that are placed upon different entities. In, in, in this specific case that we're talking about um, counties and um, uh, county governments and are, are the ones that are being targeted. Um, I want to get into a, under, a little understanding that Illinois does not have a single law that deals with solid waste management issues. Uh, there are many separate pieces of legislation that focus on waste reduction and recycling. However, the three major laws that impact and guide waste management policy in Illinois are the Illinois Solid Waste Management Act, the Illinois Solid Waste Planning and Recycling Act, in the Illinois Environmental Protection Act. If you've noticed at the top of this page I've given a reference um, and now that's, that tells you again that this Illinois Solid Waste Management Act can be found at 415 Illinois Compiled Statutes 20-1 and then the, that sequence is um, Latin for uh, in series so it starts at one and, and continues. Um, the major part of this law is it establishes the following waste management hierarchy in descending order of preference as state policy. Um, volume reduction at the source is the number one. Number two is recycling and reuse and that includes composting. Um, it's interesting that uh, it doesn't specifically say that but it, it's implied um, with when you read the rest of the legislation. Uh, three is combustion with energy recovery. Fourth is combustion for volume reduction. And fifth is disposal and landfill. So um, what, what guides my programs and, and where I work 
um, is we want to keep things out of the landfill by recycling or, or reusing them or it, at even better not creating that material to start with and a couple of examples of that might be um, reducing um, or expanding margins on a paper so that you can fit more on a single page and then also using both sides of that page to print on. The next law I want to kind of brief on is the Solid Waste Planning and Recycling Act. Um, this law requires Illinois counties as well as Chicago to develop comprehensive solid waste management plans. Those plans were originally due um, no later than March 1st of 1995 and there's another stipulation of the law that requires that those plans be updated and reviewed and updated every five years. Those plans are submitted to the Illinois EPA for um, review and comment. Each plan must provide for the implementation of recycling programs designed to recycle 25 percent of the municipal waste generated within that jurisdiction. The law has been amended to encourage counties to undertake solid waste management planning on a multi-county regional basis through intergovernmental cooperation agreements. And that uh, happens a lot up in the Chicago, uh, Cook County, Collar area. Um, there's a number of different uh, organizations that represent jurisdictions. There's a solid waste agency of Northern Cook County, uh, solid waste agency of uh, Lake County, there's the South Suburban Mayors and Managers Association, and there's a West Cook County Solid Waste Agency.